beautiful people, welcome back. Welcome to another, okay, yet another drugstore video, uh, where in today's video, we're gonna be going through and doing, as the name would suggest, a first impression on a ton of new stuff that has launched. We have some Physicians Formula, which they actually sent me over a PR package. It has the new All-Star palette, their matte bronzer, all the good things, so you know, you know, your girl's gonna be giving this a run for its money, because uh, I already talked about it in a purchaser pass. I am so freaking excited, like just a little preview. <gasps> How cute is she? Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we have a bunch of Physicians Formula. We have the new, oh yeah, the new Catrice uh, True Skin Hydrating Foundation. We have a new CoverGirl powder. We've got, what is this here? Oh, this is that Revlon Chrome Liner thing. This is what we're gonna be using on the eyes. We've got some new lip things. And overall, y'all, we're just gonna have a good time, okay? We're gonna have a good time, play with some drugstore makeup. But really what I'm trying to say here is if you just like makeup content in general, definitely stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave, because I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. My time here in good old Northern Michigan, and I have been putting up just a ton, a ton of drugstore. And what I'll do actually is I'm gonna put a link up in the cards here. If you wanna check out some of my recent drugstore content, I did some last week, the week before that, and I think the week or two before that as well. So there's a ton to watch. We've got new Essence, new Wet n Wild, new Elf, uh, and just, you know, a bunch of good stuff. So I'll make sure that that is linked up here. And also, by the way, too, as per usual, before I forget, if you haven't done so, please take a second, go follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down below. I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers over there, and I do put up a ton of content. Like, I, I post anywhere from five or four, four to seven days a week. So there's always something to watch, whether it's reels, photo, you know, we have fashion, makeup, all kinds of stuff. I'm really having a good time too in the uh, Insta story. So if you're ever wanting to know what's going on behind the scenes, what I'm up to, and you want like that behind the scenes, definitely check Instagram. But anyways, with no further ado, okay, no further ado, no more gilding the lily or however that goes. Oh my God, RIP Heath Ledger. I know that wasn't his line, but y'all, one of my favorite actors, okay, that movie, A Night's Tale is one of my all-time favorite movies. That one, and then he was also in uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh my God, so good. I love you, baby. I'm just, I love, I love that man so much. R.I.P. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead, let's zoom the camera in gently, because, oh, it's so dark today, okay? It is so dark, it looks like I'm filming at midnight, and it's definitely Saturday in the morning. So, <laughs> welcome to Northern Michigan, but let's zoom the camera in a freckle, and let's get started. Oh, and by the way, while we're on the topic, can we just talk about this right here? If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it, because I talked about it over the weekend. But I just want you to know, in this video, you very well may see whatever this is, and I just wanted to dispel any rumors. It is not a hickey, it's not a burn. Um, my mom and I, at this point, we think it is from a tag because I was trying on a bunch of clothes like this stuff right here um you know doing reels and photos for Instagram and I'm pretty sure a tag just got me good because I have super sensitive skin and I think that I think that that's what happened because I, I don't know what else it could have been so just throwing it out there if and you're curious and you see it and you're like bitch you've been having fun uh, no not that kind I've been having fun with clothes I've been having fun with makeup I've been having fun with lots of things just not just not nothing that would <laughs> would do this type of thing to me anyways with that being said okay let's go ahead let's just <laughs> move up the glasses and let's get going into the makeup because you I have got some great stuff to test today, and we're actually going to get started with this primer. This is the new Putty Primer from Physicians Formula. By the way, just in full disclosure, I always try to put this out here. It's marked in the description box. I mark them with an asterisk, but I always try to tell you verbally if something was sent to me in PR, and everything, yes, everything in this video um, from Physicians Formula was sent to me in PR, with the exception of this Rosé All Day Pencil Sharpener, which <laughs> this I bought myself because I thought it looked really pretty, uh, but everything else they did send to me. So just, again, full disclosure there. Uh, but let's go ahead, nonetheless, here and get into this Butter Believe It Putty Primer. Y'all know, y'all know I love a good putty primer. I love the one from Tatcha. I love the original, the original from Elf. Don't even try to get me twisted on that luminous one or that matte one. Blech. It is like the difference between sand and like chicken grease. Just like, oh, like don't, don't use those ones. Get the original. It's the good one. And don't fuck with the other one. Anyways, getting into this one. Okay, let's just talk about how cute this packaging is. It's got like this little palm tree moment. I'm kind of living for it. Ooh, all right, let's go ahead. Give it up. Okay, has definitely... The scent of their like traditional coconut kind of smell, which I'm not mad at, but you know, again, if you're sensitive to coconut, keep that in mind. Oh boy, she, she, she is not no regular putty. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. See how it's like really, really shiny. It has almost like an oily kind of film going on. Wait, hold on. I feel, I feel like I need to read. I feel, ooh, 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 I got a lot coming at me. Hold on real quick. Before we get into this, let's maybe read the packaging because I might be missing something. Um, what it is, an ultra luxurious velvety smooth putty primer infused with our exclusive butter blend. And it's butter. Y'all know I love some butter. 
uh, butter blend to deliver a radiantly soft, poreless complexion. Incredibly creamy and soft texture preps your skin and allows makeup to glide on smoothly for all day wear. It also says that this is infused with a powerful blend of the Maru Ru 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 butter and the Kapakakui butter and the Takumamuma butter. <laughs> Y'all, you, you should expect this from me by now. I don't ever get these words right and I just, I like to make it my own. It's more fun that way. Um, it's from the Lush, the, the Lush and Nutrient Rich Amazon. That's where those butters come from. And it is packed with essential fatty acids and pro vitamins that soften, condition, and moisturize your skin, leaving it silky ass soft. Could have put that in the garbage and I didn't, but that, that's fine. We're not going to talk about it. All right, so getting into this, I'm going to take some of it just on this side so we can kind of compare and contrast. And I'm going to rub it in just like I would any other uh, putty primer. Anytime I go in with something that's this texture that's meant to be pore refining, I like to do it more so in a circular motion just to help really buff it into the pores. I feel like it helps give me a smoother application and it really helps deliver that, that poreless base that they're supposed to give. So it's nothing that you guys will be able to see really on camera, but right in this area, I am noticing that my pores do look a little bit less visible, um, just based on like the overall shine factor right here. I feel like this kind of dulls it down. And you know what? While we're waiting for that to just settle into the skin, we gotta wait 30 seconds anyways. So we're gonna go through some of the specs on this new Catrice foundation. This is their new True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic acid and long wear. I have it in the shade 002 Neutral Ivory, and it says on the back that this is true skin but better. Hyd a hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil leaves a perfectly even skin tone and a natural matte finish. It's going to give you medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling, and it is dermatologically approved. Ooh, baby. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, baby. Ooh, who am I? All right, so yeah, I definitely left my sponge like a dinkus. I left it in the other room, so I'm going to try a this here with my L11 from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I freaking love this foundation brush and I figure if I can make it work awesome. If not, I'm gonna have to get my lazy ass up and go get that sponge, but I would really prefer not to do that because I'm pretty sure my dog is finally sleeping on the other side of that door and if I get up, it's gonna bother her and then she's gonna cry and I'm gonna feel bad and it's gonna be a whole thing. You guys didn't need that backstory, so let's just go ahead and put some foundation on, shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so pasty. Yeah, that's a little lighter than my neck. It's not a big deal. We'll go ahead, we'll bronze, we'll fix it. But like, wow, <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a light little lady we got going on there. So far, just in terms of application though, it's blending really, really nicely with a brush. Um, I, I like more so, I think, the pat-in motion because it's a thinner formula. So I definitely get the feeling from this one that if you are too you know, wild with it, it'll get kind of streaky. But again, going over top of it and just kind of pressing it in actually looks really, really nice. Okay, so two things. Number one, um, I think in terms of the color, it's definitely warming up to my skin. And the more that I look at it, it, it actually looks more and more like my actual skin tone, which, wow, am I pasty. Number two, the coverage on this, y'all, is actually pretty good. I feel like it's given me a, a decent amount, like I'd say straight into a medium. You don't really need to build it all that much. Again, I mean, if you like more of a standard application, but I really, really like the way that it looks over those areas. And I appreciate the way that it's not emphasizing my texture, but I still am getting like a really beautiful kind of glow on the skin. I don't know how well you guys can see that because, because it's so dark in here, uh, but it's really pretty. I don't have a new concealer for today. So I'm just going to go in with some of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. And this is in the shade, what is this? Fair Beige. And I actually just used this uh, in a first impressions like a week or so ago. I'll link the video up here. But I tested out the new concealer from them as well as their new tinted hydrator and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure, like I said at the start of the video, make sure you check that video out if you're curious about any of the new launches. As for this concealer, I'm just going in like I normally would here and shaping out the face, which um, actually <laughs> there, there's really uh, not much of a difference between the two shades. So I'm really not doing much shaping. I'm just adding some more coverage with that concealer, which actually is pairing up beautifully with this foundation. Oh, with this foundation. Okay, nice looking shade. How's it going? Y'all see that? It actually looks really quite beautiful. Yeah, definitely uh, nothing in terms of the <laughs> of the shaping going on, but the way that those two go together, like the, the way the products are melting is beautiful on my skin. All right, so next up for powder here, I have one from CoverGirl and it's a little bit whiter than I'd anticipated, um, hello, but this is the new CoverGirl Simply Age Ageless, Ageless, apparently that's a really hard word for me, uh, only because I talk a million miles a minute, but this is their new Instant Wrinkle Blurring Press Powder with Hyaluronic Acid acid and vitamin C complex. And it's supposed to just give you like a really beautiful smoothed out look on your skin. And I have this in the shade 100 translucent. Uh, hopefully it really is. Ooh, 
That actually does look really pretty. It leaves like a nice kind of light sheen on the skin. Not in like a shimmery way, but in like a like a finishing powder kind of way. And it says on the back here that this is a non-drying pressed powder that does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I, I will be the judge of that, okay? Because I got so many wrinkles. I got so many crinkly ass little crevasses up on this face. Don't tell me. I will tell you, okay? Don't, don't, don't test me. Um, but it says makes your skin look fresh and more youthful. It instantly reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and makes pores less visible. It is lightly mattifying no caking, no flaking. Oh man, that's a lot. There's so many claims in there we have got to unpack. All right, so I've been off of camera for the last couple of minutes just trying to decide what I wanted to do here in terms of powder because I want to be fair to the new one from CoverGirl, but I also know my skin and I know how it reacts to powders and stuff like that. And so originally when I was going to test this, I was going to just, you know, apply it up under here, but to set my under eye, I have to use a, um, a loose powder because my under eyes will not set down with a pressed powder. So what I'm going to do just to, again, be fair to this powder is I'm I'm gonna go in first and set my under eyes with my one size powder. This is from Patrick Star. I've talked about it a ton. And my under eyes and through my T-zone, they really, really like this. It gives a beautiful set, a nice smoothing effect. Um, so I'm gonna use that on the T-zone. And then all over the face, I'm gonna go in and fluff a light amount of my IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder. And this is in the shade light. And this is gonna just set everything down. That way, when I move forward with the other powder, you know, I've got like a nice even base to work with. All right, so I was thinking about this while I was off of camera setting everything and I think what I'm actually going to do is wait on this one because it is so light um so light of a powder I think it would look really beautiful to use as like a final step up under my eyes to really not only smooth everything out but also brighten up like right through here so what I'm actually going to do is go ahead instead and bust into the physician's formula launch again we've got the bronzer we've got this palette and I'm actually looking up how to pronounce it right now it's 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 written Matt M-O-N-O-I like Monet Monai Mo, Mo gotta get the Monet I really don't know, okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna Google it, because that's why we love Google. I'm sorry, what? Munoy. Okay, so from what I'm seeing on all sources, I believe it is pronounced Manoy. Uh, and I, I'm gonna just apologize up front because I'm sure that's not how everybody says it or it's wrong or something. So just, you know, bear with me. I'm gonna say Manoy and we're gonna go with it. And it says that it is actually just on Google here on Wikipedia that it is a Tahitian word meaning scented oil in the Rio Mohoy language. Oh my God. Manoy is widely used among French Polynesians as a skin and hair softener. Ooh, that just sounds so loverly, doesn't it? But anyways, let's go ahead here and actually take a swatch you guys are like Paige we don't care how you say it oh my god it is so silky it is so so damn silky okay so there's that um and then also I believe wait hold on is that the same shade that's in the palette all right so guys I'm not gonna lie I can't tell if these are two different shades or not uh because looking at them in the pan okay this one right here is the matte one and this is the pan obviously the single that they sent so they look different right like if you're looking at them side by side this one looks lighter and then even when I swatch them these are the three bronzers this one is the single the one in my hand this one is from the palette which I think looks darker if I'm looking at it and then this one right here, there's like a shimmery one off to the side, and that is the original Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm gonna go in with this one because I feel like the color of it, because it's lighter, um, I think I'd have better luck with this one if something went wrong, if it didn't blend or whatever. I just, I feel like, you know, go, going lighter is always a better option for my pasty little ass. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna apply it with actually this bronzer brush from Eco Tools. This is one, uh, if you're used to watching me apply bronzer, you know that I love using a duo fiber. And this is a duo fiber I picked up, who talked about this? Jessica Braun. Jessica Braun talked about this. And I picked this one up from Eco Tools again, off of her recommendation, because I normally use this one from It Cosmetics. It is their 202 Flawless Powder Brush. And I mean, obviously, you can see they're not they're not the same. This one's a lot bigger, like longer-wise. It's more fluffy, and it has a lot more, like, movement to it. It's a lot more of a fluid brush. But I've been on the hunt for a replacement for this, because this one, if memory serves, you can only get in a kit from It Cosmetics, um, like a five-piece brush kit. And I don't even know if they still make it. Last I saw, they did on Ulta but um, I wanted to have something nonetheless that I could offer that was either, you know, more affordable or something else that was comparable. And so I figured I would check this one out because again, it's a dual fiber. I like the shape of it, but in terms of the like flimsiness and the, the blend of it, I do find that with this one, I have to apply a little bit differently. Um, I like to go in, cause I've used this several times now. I have to go in and kind of stamp the bronzer, make sure that it gets nice and like seated on my skin. And then after that, I can go in and, you know, be a little bit more haphazard with it. I can really blend it out. But uh, just because it's not quite as flimsy, I have to be a little bit more mindful of placement. Wow, that was a big-ass truck. It shook my wall. 
to the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the sweat drip down my balls. All oh, these bitches crawl, crawl. Oh my God, those were the days. Sometimes I still can't believe the stuff we were listening to in high school. <laughs> You know, the best part is I remember, <laughs> I remember being at high school dances and you guys can tell me if you're like DJs or whoever played your music, if they did this, but our DJ would always be like, okay, I'm going to play this song because it's been requested a hundred times. But if I hear one person sing it, I'm shutting it off. And they would do it every time. Like, oh my God, come on. We're high schoolers. Of course we're going to do it. Right? So us being the smart asses that we are, we would all look at each other and we would wait till the song was almost over. And then on the very last verse, you'd hear us singing from the window to the wall to the sweat dripped down my balls and we, we just went in oh my god it was so great because he got so mad he would turn it off you'd hear like just the song just come to a screeching ass halt and everybody would die laughing and he was like you guys i told you not to sing it and we were all like yeah but we heard most of the song who gives a shit <laughs> i love that that was my act of defiance singing that the sweat is dripping down my balls <laughs> high school dance yeah that that's what i did I'm, I'm a rebel also if anybody's curious this bronzer is damn beautiful okay like the texture of it the way that it's blending but Buffing into my skin. The tone is absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm fucking, I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, this looks so beautiful. I don't know how it's coming across on camera, of course, because it looks like it's midnight in here. But, like, in real life, y'all, <laughs> the texture of this is so perfect. It's so silky soft. It's pressing into my skin. Let's go ahead from there and go into another item we have um, in this palette. This is the Happy Booster Glow Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. And I thought we could, you know, give this a little, a little Ganza Mianza. It's got, like, a really nice, oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, so you know what? We might need a base color. I don't know if you guys can even see it on my hand. I just did a swatch and it is very, very glowy and it gives more of like a light pink sheen. So I think what I'll do is maybe throw on a base blush and then, you know, kind of tap that over top. So let's find, <laughs> let's find a blush. And I do want to make sure that whatever blush I go in with is a matte version. So I'm going to go in because that one's obviously glowy and I want to like see it transform. So I'm just going to grab this one. It's sitting next to me. This, this is one of my favorites here from Lunar Beauty. This is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. And I'm going to go in to, I think, these two shades right here. Again, I'm not going to pick the glowy one. These both are matte. And I'm just going to dip back and forth and then, you know, lightly smegiggle it on. But uh, if you didn't see, I actually just talked about this again for the millionth time in my high-end makeup favorites for the year 2020. I'll link it up here. Up, up here. And uh, yeah, so if you didn't see that, make sure you check it out. And the drugstore one for everybody asking, because I've had a ton of questions. Obviously, with me testing um, so much drugstore, y'all want to know where it's at. And that video should be up, theoretically speaking, the week that you're watching this video right here. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and that your notifications are on because y'all, there's gonna be some drugstore favorites coming your way. All right, so now with that applied, let's go ahead and dip into this little booster right here. I'm just gonna use the same brush and ever so gently, just kind of give it a little poop, 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 poop and see what we get. Oh, that's actually really pretty. You know what? Something like this could have went really bad really fast because, you know, it's shimmery and it's got that light little amount of color. And I just, I really appreciate that with this one, it's not doing anything too crazy and the texture of it actually looks good too all right i'm not mad at this my nose is looking a little funky over my pores on the sides um which isn't super abnormal for me because my nose is always a shit show but you know just throwing it out there texture wise for everything else it's looking pretty good so far now i think we're good to revisit this cover girl right here i'm gonna take it on the bk beauty 108 little tapered brush i freaking love love this brush so much it's amazing for up under the eyes um so i'm just gonna take and go in with oh my god oh my god um some of this here and I'm going to start off just like I said, taking it under the eyes because if there's going to be any, you know, intense amount of brightness or anything like that, this is where I would want it concentrated. All right. So in real life, this is giving me more of that subtle, um, subtle brightness, like up under the eyes. I put a little bit right here so far, but definitely on camera because I have all of these beauty lights, I am getting, you know, somewhat of that uh, flashback kind of white cast. So definitely something to keep in mind if you are, you know, in front of lights or flash photography, anything like that. I really like that right up under my eyes. It does look really, really smooth, very much so like a finishing powder kind of vibe, but it's super beautiful and I love that brightness. Okay, so guys, I think that was like the most terrifying product that I had to use today. Like I was really apprehensive and I am just, I'm really happy with how it looks. Okay, Whew, I feel like I can breathe, bitch. I feel like I can breathe. Also really quick, guys, I meant to put one of these on at the start of the video. It's new from Catrice. This is their Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm and it has hyaluron, is that just hyaluron or hyaluronate or something? Um, but it has like five really nourishing and ingredients for your lips, vitamin E, shea butter, green tea, goji berry. And I picked it up in two different shades. I have more of like this brownie nude shade, which is 080 golden ginger. And then I also have 
010 Glossy Apricots. And I wanted to test it out, you know, kind of near the start of the video. That way we could see how it wears, if it's actually hydrating. And so I'm going to go in actually with the apricot one. I know if you, if you watch, you're probably like, she's not taking the brown nude. Uh, but no, because it'll mess up when I go to do everything else. Like aesthetically pleasing, I won't like it. So I'm going to go in uh, with the one that's a little bit more clear after I wipe off these busty, crusty ass lips. Yo, what is going on? I look like I got like mummification going on. So maybe we should like fix this and then go in with a little, um, a little, little balmy situation. Cause now bitch, now they're, now they're extra raisiny with a side of prune and we need it. So now I'm just going in with some of that. Now that my lips are cleaned off some, Paige, let's at least try to keep it, <laughs> try to try to color in the lines at least a little bit. Wow, that feels really nice. I'm gonna look at this brown shade, the um, 080 Golden Ginger, uh, just cause I wanna see what the color is. Oh, it's really pretty. It's actually not as rich in color as I thought it would be but it's beautiful. Okay, we're definitely, definitely gonna be using this later because um, I really like it and I like the texture of this one, but am I the only one, like, am I the only one that feels like this is kind of brilliant? The idea of a liquid lip balm, I don't I don't know why that's hitting me some kind of wonderful, but I'm, I'm really liking it. All right, so next up, I'm going in with a brow pencil and I actually have used this before, not this exact shade, um, but I did use this one from Physicians Formula. It's their new Slim Brow Pencil and today I'm using it in the shade Medium Brown, but last week when I used it in my, I think it was just a regular dry drugstore video, I was actually using it in the shade taupe because evidently I bought the wrong shade. So Physicians Formula, when they sent me over um, this box of goodies, they sent me over this one, which is a lot, a lot, a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead today and just use this to lightly shape out my brow. So this color is absolutely like perfection for me. <laughs> like it's it's my exact hair color. That's wonderful. Um, but I was thinking about it too, because I checked on the Ulta website and I don't know if this is like a me thing. Maybe it's just at Ulta, but I noticed um, under the the listing for this brow pencil when I was looking last week that there were only two shades. There's only taupe and medium brown and that's it. Like where, where are the rest of the shades? Like am I, or am, I, am I missing something? Does Ulta not have them? I don't know. All right and then really quick for brow gel I'm just gonna grab the Fiber Fix brow gel from Flower Beauty. I also tested this out. It's in the shade Brunette and I also tested this out in a recent video. All right you guys so while I was off of camera obviously I finished up the brows but I also went ahead because I'm not gonna be doing any like crazy eyeshadow for today. Um, I went ahead and I put just a little bit of concealer, blended it out, and then I set my eyelids um, with this celebration powder. That way they would, you know, match the rest of my face. And I figured from there we would go ahead and drift into the eye portion, which I'm going to be using this new guy from Revlon. This is their new Liquid Chrome So Fierce Chrome Ink Liquid Liner. Uh, I think I might have messed up some of those words, but this is in the shade 901 Gunmetal. And basically here on the back, it says that this is a multi-dimensional metal color that glides on like ink. It is specially designed, it has a specially designed dip ink cap that holds the pigment to help prevent pen dry out. It's a, a glossy filming copolymers that create a molten metal finish, a high density of pigments and super fine glitters and pearls. So again, it's going to be super duper reflective. And uh, it says for instructions, you just softly glide the tip along the lash line um, and then dip pen back in when you need more. So there's not like anything crazy, you know, unique or special in terms of application. And I'm thinking, first thing. Oh, it's like a nice little little chubby pen. I'm just going to apply some of this to the lash line and do a, a little something. I don't, I don't exactly know. I don't want to do like a wing because I'm not really like a wing kind of person, but I just really want to get a feel for the texture. All right, so I definitely have some thoughts. First of all, I am really impressed with myself because I mean, are they perfect? No, um, but like they are relatively even and I'm, so, I'm just so happy about that. Um, number one. Number two, in terms of the actual product, very easy to use. I think what I'm going to do in the end is I'll end up taking this a little bit on the lower lash line and blending it out with an eyeliner. This is new from LA Girl. This is their auto eyeliner. And actually, now that I say that, I don't know if it's new or if I just wanted to try it. I can't remember. But um, I'm going to be, I think, putting this on like the upper lower and then maybe I'll blend it out into this and kind of do like a whole smoky moment, uh, especially to help lift up on the outer V. I think that that would just kind of give it a little bit extra cat eye without, without me having to have some crazy wing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that here in a second. Before we get into that and do mascara, I want to finish up the face with sprays and highlight and so I'm gonna grab I actually have two new sprays for this video so somewhere well hello beautiful people editing page here uh, I wanted to pop on just really quickly and mention I had a little bit of a kerfuffle when I was uh, importing my footage evidently I am missing one of my files I don't know where it went uh, but it is somewhere drifting about in cyberspace and on this footage is the application of the new setting spray from physicians formula and the new highlight from Catrice it's the more than a glow highlight and so I just wanted to pop on here really quick 
it kind of give you a little bit of information on both of these things. First of all, the spray from Catrice, or not the spray, I'm sorry, the spray from Physicians Formula, I actually wasn't a huge fan of it. And I'm not even sure if it's the spray that was the issue. I'm, I, I thought maybe during the video, it could have been a mixture of the spray and maybe it being like more of an emollient or more of a like an oily kind of type spray, like that type of hydration, mixing with the fact that I had a powder foundation, it might've been, you know, something in that respect because typically I don't have sprays react like this. It, it almost was like it wanted to break apart like certain areas out here. And so I, again, it could have been a mixture of something. I'm not really sure. Obviously I'll retest it and let you guys know, but the spray didn't work as well as I would have liked. But the highlight on the other hand um, was actually really, really beautiful. It had a nice intensity to it. But my only issue that I had with the highlight going in was um, sometimes if you applied like you had too much on the brush, it did tend to look a little bit heavy on your skin, especially I have like fine lines and wrinkles up through here. And I noticed that it was wanting to kind of like settle into those areas. So I guess for that one, my biggest critique would be, you know, you can play around with it. You can play with the intensity and all of that, which is great. But just be mindful during application um, of that heaviness, of that kind of thickening, like look on the skin when you apply. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? If you're like me and you're a highlight fanatic, you know what I'm trying to say? But those were the only two things that went missing from the video, again, as of, as of right now that I can tell. So, um, oh, and the other thing I wanted to add to, just as a side note, I noticed at the beginning of this video, because the lighting was so bad. Um, my bronzer looked so orange for the first like I don't even know, maybe five, 10 minutes it was applied. And you'll actually notice as the video progresses, it looks better. I don't know what that was. Lighting evidently just miraculously healed itself. Uh, but I just wanted to mention, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you were like, damn, it's real orange. It really didn't look that orange in real life. So I don't know, I don't know what that was all about. But other than that, I don't have anything else to add. I'm gonna let you guys finish up the video because it's already really, really long. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys down in the comments. Don't forget to leave me all your thoughts down below. And I hope you're having a fabulous evening. I'm gonna go edit this. Me and me and my poofy bun here, we got stuff to do. I'm gonna test out the spray from Catrice. Again, this is the Shake Fix Glow Spray. And because I already tested it, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight in here. And you know what, looking at it up close, I'm not getting like a super overwhelming or off-putting disco ball kind of vibe. So that's nice. I I mean, I feel like everything looks about the same. All right, guys, so next up, we're gonna go into mascara, finish up the eyes. And I'm for sure going in with this one first. This is from Physicians Formula. And this is their Butter Blowout Full Blown Volume and Length Mascara. And I wanted to go in with this one because obviously I'm using the rest of the new collection. And so I figured we would start here. And if it works, awesome. You know, I'll do both lashes will be great. But if for whatever reason it doesn't work, I do have two other options on standby. I have the new one from CoverGirl. This is their Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara and the LA Girl Jet Setter Mascara, which actually, oh my god, look at this packaging, y'all. So, sorry, the shiny just kind of caught my attention. But either way, like I said, I'm gonna go in with this one first and see what it does. Uh, and I'll test it out on one eye, see if I like the volume, the length, whatever, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this packaging is so cute. I love the little palm trays that are wrapped around it like that. Oh, hello, I'm going on a little safari. All right, so with my lashes good and curled, I'm just gonna start going in, applying a couple of coats of this. All right, now real quick, I'm just letting the first coat dry. It's a very sparse layer, definitely, like I said, giving me good individualized lashes, but in terms of the overall, like, thickness, the volume, anything like that, this mascara just isn't really bulking up. Like, right here, even with two coats, I feel like they look very, very almost non-existent. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead, actually, and switch off of that mascara mascara and I am going to test out this one from LA Girl, their Jet Setter mascara because this one is supposed to give you extreme length with a dramatic lift so I think it would be a good like juxtaposition to have both at the same time. So I'm just going to go in with this one on the other side and I'll build them both up, see what they do. Back, I just went ahead and I applied obviously both mascaras and the LA Girl liner I was talking about earlier to the upper and lower waterline and for my thoughts I think on these mascaras it's actually interesting because they're both very similar like in terms of the individualized lash that you get, but I think if I had to compare them, I would say that the one from, what is this, LA Girl, this one is a lot thicker. It's more of like a goopy, very, very saturated, wet texture, whereas the one from Physicians Formula is actually a lot drier. All right, now moving on to lips, I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta lip liner. This is the shade She's Bold. Yeah, She's Bold. It's one of my favorite lip liners, and I'm using it because I don't, I don't really have a different color that'll work um, for what I want to do, so I'm just gonna take some of this and go ahead, trace out the lips. Oh God, it's such a beautiful, beautiful nude brown color. I love this so much. Oh my God, presents. All right, so I don't say this very often, but be jealous, I have the best parents. <laughs> oh my God, I was craving french fries earlier so bad. 
Look at this. Also, can I just ask, what is it about McDonald's fries? Like, they just hit right. Something about, like, the texture, the salt. Mmm. Some of them are crunchy. Some of them are nice and gooey. Oh, God. Mmm. All right, then on top of that lip liner, I'm gonna go in with the Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper. This is their new Mineral Wear Lip Plumping Gloss, and I'm gonna use it in the shade Light Pink Princess Cut. It's just a beautiful, more like a clear gloss. Ooh, wow, the texture of that's super thin. I didn't expect that. Oh my God, oh my God. And it smells fantastic, okay. But all right, beautiful people, with that, we are officially done. Obviously, this is how the makeup turned out. And I did go ahead, obviously, I took some up-close shots. I'll get to those here in a second. But before I do, I have just a couple of notes I wanna make, okay? Number one, this gloss is so, so freaking nice. I wanted to leave it on here and, like, give it a second to, um, you know, do that plumping thing, like, if it's gonna burn or if it's gonna hurt. I wanted to, obviously, you know, give you guys that information because as somebody who has stated a million times, I'm super, super sensitive to texture and like the plumping and then it burns and it hurts your lips and stuff. I'm very sensitive to all of that. And this one is actually really, really nice. There is a light, like a very, very light, almost unnoticeable, if I'm being honest, um, little like in the background. But for the most part, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. The shine is amazing. And then number two, I also want to mention, I popped over onto my phone to take a couple of photos because I like to take photos, obviously, when I finish my makeup. That way, especially when I'm testing things, I like to see what a regular camera sees versus just just this camera because I feel like sometimes one can be more gentle than the other so I like to have both for um, for comparison purposes and when I was on there taking those photos you guys I am blown away at how well this photograph and like yes I had a couple of issues some crevasse type situations but for the most part this photographs so unbelievably beautiful like this whole look it has so much like subtlety but also power behind that like there, there's just something that's really really working the lip is on point the little wing is just adorable like I can't oh I haven't done a wing in uh, I don't know forever and it just looks so, so cute. I love the look overall. And uh, yeah, I'm just really impressed. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's throw up the up close. That way you guys can see how everything is looking. And again, for me, I'm just going to go through and wrap up a couple of things. First off, with this complexion, I do feel like the foundation is settling in a little bit better. Like it's definitely, um, I would say, smoothing out like over my cheeks and whatnot. But I am still seeing some of the same issues I saw before with the, you know, light little smile lines around my nose, a little on the forehead, areas like that, where it does look a little bit uh, heavy, a little bit um, a little bit more settled in in those areas. And that could be my fault because again, I didn't use a sponge today because I left it in the other room. Didn't want to disturb the dog. You know, she's, she's the queen over here. So that could just be a me thing. Again, obviously I'll test it out with a sponge and I'll see if that helps. But just in terms of like those areas, that's really the only place I'm seeing um, an issue. Other than that, it looks really nice. It has a soft matte kind of feel on the skin. And then of course I set it with powder. So everything looks good. And I think that only leaves two other items to mention. Uh, the highlight being one of them from Catrice. Love that. Love the way it looks. Love the way that it's settled into the skin. It's super beautiful. I do think if you're someone that struggles with texture right here because it's so intense, it might be one that you have to buff in a little bit more. You know, you might have to finesse it a freckle, but it is super beautiful. Very, very intense, brightening. Obviously, you guys saw it, but I really like the way that that looks. And then, oh yeah, I wanted to mention too, with this uh, little wing situation from Revlon that I used, I actually really am a fan of that. I love the way that it's like settling into the lid. It didn't get thick or chunky and I built it up on itself a little bit and it didn't get weird when I did that either. But overall, you guys, I'm really loving, again, the way that this turned out. I, I just, I don't really have much bad to say about it. Uh, but I wanna hear, of course, from you guys down below. What do you think of the products? Was there anything you were curious about? And uh, more than anything, do you still like the drugstore videos? Have I made you sick of them yet? As I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. Oh, and also too, in case you're new here, I link down below um, everything else that I'm wearing too to the best of my ability. So the necklace, this is from Melinda Maria. I will have that linked. I'll have this uh, jacket link if they still have it. This is from uh, Athleta or Athleta, however you say that. Um, but this, these are both from them, the top and the jacket. This is actually a rib tank that I love. Um, but I'll link both of these down below, again, as long as it's still available. But anyways, you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm gonna go because I just keep staring at myself in the mirror and in the monitor. Get this hair down here. Um, so I just wanna say again, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have an amazing day night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Almost dropped the camera. Also, why is it, hello, I feel like I need to like hit the deck. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, look at this one. Oh my God. Let's just make a video ranking my McDonald's french fries. Number one, but see ones like this, ones that are right in the middle where it's like, mm, I'm not too crunchy, I'm not too whatever. You're like, you're like a eh, like eh. I eat you because you're a fry that's in the way of the other fries, you know what I'm saying?